You've got midfield players that are very good uh, all-round players, but are they goal-scoring midfield players? I don't think they are. So uh, with, with the players they've got at the moment, it's going to be very difficult for Pochettino. Uh, yeah, which follows the trend, doesn't it, uh, for previous managers. His level isn't quite as low as Frank Lampard and it's not quite as high as uh, Potter during his tenure. When you take a look at his uh, win percentage so far, obviously a, a small sample, but just to, to emphasise the task that he has, could anyone else do better, Mario? Uh, look, uh, at this point, you know, I, I understand that people are questioning his, his ability and, and I don't think it's as, uh, driving as hard um, as we expect it to be because they only put uh, a big charge of the... Of the Stadium boot when the, the final came out, but I don't think it is there yet. Do they want to see that team win? Yes, because we've been in that situation, you know, like uh, all the guys are part of the show. But where when you don't win, people start putting pressure on you in the sense of like you're walking around in the team and you know what the problem is because you know if you score more goals, you ease the pressure on the team. But if you don't do that, that's where the really the biggest problem come. So I still think Potichino is the guy, but the only problem I had, I should not be happy, and I repeat myself, when the market closed. That means that the club that you support, that you're happy that the market closed, that's why? Because they're buying too many. That's why I was happy. I said like, shut it down, because it, it, at one point you have to start saying to yourself, we have enough. And I, I have felt like, and still now we're sitting here and the next window opens, and we're probably <laughs> talking about it again and say like, oh my guys, are you guys going again? Stop. Stop. What can Mo uh, Pochettino do tactically to address this, Robbo, if anything? Uh, I'm not sure he can do too much about right. it. If you're, if, you're, if you're creating one or two decent chances, as they did with Sterling going in behind the fullback on one occasion, getting down the middle, I think he might have been offside on that one. Uh, Chilwell yeah. gets and breaks off Aston Villa's offside line down. They had a couple of chances, good chances in the first, and you're not taking those. There's not much the manager can do unless he's got players on the bench. And Mario's just said they haven't really got players on the bench who are going to come on and change him. Broha might be fit, but... You know, he's been injured for a long time. He's not going to come back flying straight away. So he's, he's tried to put Fernandez higher up the field to make forward runs from that number 10 role uh, and, and stay with Gallagher and Caicedo in the centre of the pitch. He's tried to get his fullbacks high up the field as well to create opportunities. So I think he's doing mostly everything he can. He's a good coach. And we all said right at the start of the season, it's a mess at Chelsea in terms of all the players that they bought, all the players that went out the club. It will take him a long time to get this right, I think, as long as he's given time. 